I thought they were joking with me. You're reading the wrong chart. I don't have breasts. He says, are you all right? I says, how can I be all right? You just finished telling me I have breast cancer. Over 2,000 men will be diagnosed with invasive breast cancer this year. About 440 men will die from it. Starting today, Male Breast Cancer Awareness Week begins. And here to talk about their survivor stories and this week's events, Raymond Rice and Mark Futterwhite. Thank you both so much for being here. So when we talk about breast cancer, first thing that comes to mind most people is women. A lot of people don't realize that men can get it as well. Let me start with you, Mark. T tell me your story. Basically, I'm active, play sports every week, and I was getting into a shower after uh, playing, and I, my hand rubbed up against my breast and I had mm -hmm. a leakage. I was just lucky; it just came out. And I, I mean, I was ignorant. Men had breasts. Well, yeah, men do have breasts, and uh, diagnosed. And I was just very lucky because it was a carcinoma in C2, which they just removed. And I didn't have to have any radiation or anything like that. So when the doctor said it's breast cancer, what was your first reaction? I was shocked. I was shocked. He saw this, the look on my face, and he got up. His name is Joseph Garcia from Wayne. Great guy. And he grabbed my face, and he told me I was going to be fine. Mm. And luckily I was. But it's, an, it's awareness. It's getting out there and understanding what's, what your body's uh, showing you. And Raymond, let me ask you the same thing. How did you learn that you had it as well? Well, in 2003, my wife, she was uh, examining me, and she felt a lump in my right breast, a little small lump, and she told me to go to the doctor, and I didn't. Three months later, it got bigger. She touched it again. So I went to the doctor, and he took it out, and he called me, called me in, and he told me it was uh, breast cancer. And what was your reaction when you heard that? I actually couldn't believe it, but when I went outside, I left, went outside, and it sounded like everything stopped. Like time had just stopped. I couldn't hear anything. So I shook myself out of it, and I decided to go to the VA hospital, because I'm a veteran, mm -hmm. for a second opinion. And uh, I went to the VA hospital, and they diagnosed me, and they took me through tests, and it came back, and it was breast cancer. How did you get through the experience? Well, I belong to a, a great church. I pastor and congregation and people in prayer. My wife, I have a lovely wife and children that uh, help me through. And uh, my faith really, uh, really helped me through. Mm -hmm. Mark, talk a little bit about the breast, the, the, the men, male breast cancer coalition. It's a great organization. It was started together uh, on actually social media brought the people together. It's Brett Miller, his mother Peggy, and Sherry Ambrose, who's here in New York. And we're just trying to get the word out there. It's, it, it, this affects many men, I mean, around the world. Uh, we're hoping that eventually, when men go for their annual physicals, that a breast exam is going to be part of the uh, normal exam. But a lot of doctors just don't, they just don't know about it. They don't know that men can get this as well. Mm -hmm. That's what I was going to say. What is your advice to men? Because you hear women, we should be doing breast exams regularly. Men should be as well. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. I mean, Brett was 17 years old. He's the youngest known that he was diagnosed at that age. Uh, I've spoken in front of 900 young people down in Dallas mm -hmm. and told them, tell your fathers, tell your grandfathers, tell your uncles, any male members of your family, they should be checked and they should check themselves regularly just to make sure that everything's fine. Raymond, what kind of events are going on this week to celebrate, uh, to celebrate this week? Well, this week I'll be speaking at uh, Woodall Hospital in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. guest speaker on uh, male breast cancer. And from there, I'll be uh, going back to my church to uh, share with some men about the importance of uh, getting checked out and uh, making sure that the health is, is okay. And how's your health today? I'm pretty much in health. I'm, I get up every morning, I walk. I'm not going to do the walk this year, but I can do the walk. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a good thing. I can do it. <laughs> that is very true. And what about you? How are you doing? I'm doing great. Got my fifth bit now, and I'm you know, just trying to stay active and get out there and get the word out, speaking in as many places as I can. What's your message to men this morning? What do you want them to know? Well, you know, be, just be aware. Awareness is the, is the, is the start, and together we'll, you know, we'll conquer this disease. Raymond? Yes, I'm out there also. Um, I'm out there speaking on cancer, teaching men. Um, I belong to a Christian Cultural Center in Brooklyn, and we uh, are active, and um, we just keep on ministering to men about their lives, about their family, and mm -hmm. 
just keep getting it out there. Well, thank you both for coming in. We really appreciate it. Glad that you're both doing well, and thank you for your service as you're well. Welcome. Thank you for having me. And for more information on the Male Breast Cancer Coalition, you can head to our Male Breast Coalition. Excuse me, you can head to our website, cbsnewyork.com. This is CBS 2 News Sunday morning. We'll be right back.